Hey guys, Captain Crooked Horror here, back with another video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. For me, it's morning right now, but whatever, that doesn't matter. Um, so today's video is going to be a little different. I know my latest videos have been talking about my Pullman 306A. I know I did a video of the 245A converted, which was really cool. Um, but there's an issue with it. Um, there was a slight, there's a couple of issues I had with it when I first got it. First, it was hard to start when warm, and, um, I mean, the compression on the saw is great. Um, the, what the compression is different. I know this is an SA model, so it has a decompression release or whatever, but, um, it could just be, I don't know, but, um, anyway, um, let's talk about the issues before I talk about the solution. So... First off, the saw is locked up, but the weird part is, um, so I think it was actually two days ago, I was like, oh, let's try it out, I choked it, pulled on it, and first one, it popped, it was like, Rrr! and I was like, oh, cool, all right, we're good, I was like, that's a good start, so put the choke back in, pulled it, pulled it, it started, and then it was like, blah, 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 blah. and then it was idling good, and then it started to bog down, and I was like, all right. And then I looked up a video, I was like, basically, for me, um, saws and carburetors, I'm, on my XLs, my home lights, I'm pretty good at tuning them, I just have to, my XL, I just have to get a new spring for it and it should start up. But, um, the, these things, I don't know what it is, I have such a hard time tuning these, um, but a good buddy of mine, um, did say he, he will be, he said he can, he's like, He's like, send it to me. He's like, I can, he's like, I can, uh, get it going just fine for you. And, uh, it's Forrest Feller, by the way. Um, he will be doing a video. I'll ship it to him. He will be doing a video of him taking it apart, looking at it. So that's going to be really cool. Um, so I can't wait to see this thing run again. Um, and just for him helping me out, I will send him this flywheel cover because he has his own 245A he's going to be working on. So, you know, why not? you know, help him out since he's helping me out, you know, why not send him this cover? So yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll tag you in the video, but I just want to say thank you so much for helping me out. I was like, it's, it's beyond my knowledge, honestly. Um, about the lockup thing, uh, I took the flywheel cover off, pulls just fine, like just fine, like no issues whatsoever. Retracts, you pull it, retracts. There is compression, but it's like half as what it was before, and it's weird because this thing, my first video, it had really good compression. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the compression, unless if there's like stuff missing, or, but I don't have any extra spare parts for these. I just had a coil that I replaced in it, and it seemed to work a lot better until it failed. Not, not like it failed, but you know, the tune-up went bad. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of this sucks it's kind of weird i was i told him i was like i was like yeah i i take the flywheel cover off i pull it pulls just fine and i'm like i put it back on pull it it's locked up and he's like what do you mean i was like i'm wondering the same exact thing i was like i never ran into that issue before i mean there is no i'm not gonna you know break it or anything because there's a little little crack here on the handle or whatever like right here i gotta fix that but um i mean this thing is like not going anywhere like like I mean I thought it was the compression but it's it's not this thing is just it's it's locked up which it's it's weird because I took apart mo I, I took apart the whole flywheel cover starter cover the, the issue that I thought it was and I was like I was like I don't think it'd be the starter I mean I pulled on it and it wouldn't retract I loosened up one of those it's like um a triangle thing and there's like a little plate on it and I loosened up one of the bolts and it um it went back in place I tightened it back up pulled it pulled it and it, it was working fine so I was like all right put it back together pulled it it wasn't fine and I was like I, I made sure the flywheel bolt was was tight and all that so um it's out of my knowledge which uh forest seller he knows way more about these saws than I do uh this is only my second one that I've owned the other one I sold, the other one I didn't really even look at. I kind of just try a new coil and sold it, which kind of hate myself for that because I was like, you could have had an opportunity to look at it, get more knowledge, but I didn't think about it at the time. But um, 
yeah, no, he just knows way more about these types of saws more than I do. Um, I, I don't have any extra parts on me, so I was like, I'll take apart um, what I can. Because um, if I run into, it's like having spare parts for these is a good thing, obviously, because, oh, yep, I'll just do that instead of having to wait a week and order it and all that. It's a process, so I was kind of like, well, all right. And then he was like, hey, I'll just help you out. I was like, send it to me. He's like, I'll I'll get it running good, and I was like, oh, awesome, man, thank you so much, so, yeah, just, just for him doing that, he said he'll do a video on it, which I can't wait to see it, um, very, very, very nice guy, I would definitely check out his channel, I'll tag him in the video, so, um, definitely check out his videos, he does awesome videos on chainsaws and all that, um, funny, funny, funny shorts videos, just, just check him out, he does, he does some awesome, awesome videos, and, Really awesome channel. Um, I think I already showed you, but yeah, uh, giving this to him just because he's gonna be helping me out making this thing run like brand new. He said he's like, oh, he's like, I'll get it running really good. So um, send it to him hopefully tomorrow. Um, this I will be giving it to him because he's helping me out with this. So why not return him a favor and give him this for his own 245A uh, chainsaw? So. Yeah, um, kind of sucks that, you know, it's locked up, less compression, um, the, I mean, to be honest, I think I messed up the tune-up, it, it was, it wasn't good beforehand, and I was watching videos on it, and there's just so many different types of information on, on chainsaws, like, it's like, oh, turn it a half a turn, oh, turn it three, you know, whatever, I was like, I just watched all the videos, I was like, well, I don't know, so I was trying all of them, and it made it worse, which I was like, I'd rather do my research than just, uh, you know, whatever, and, you know, break it even more, but um, I, I did what I could, um, didn't really help out, but um, I will be sending this to Forrest Feller, hopefully tomorrow, um, I can't wait to see the video of him unboxing it and just working on the saw, so that's going to be really cool to see, but yeah, uh, just definitely check out his channel, he does does amazing work so um yeah i just wanted to do a video talking about it it kind of sucks but it will probably run much better once he's done once he's done working his magic on the saw but uh yeah i just wanted to show you guys and just be like yep this is an update so um yeah i did convert it back to the to the 3 306a just because um I had this converted to a 245A, like seen in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a 306A or a, oh, it's 245A. I don't really care. Um, anyway, yeah. So I just converted it back just because I was like, it'd be cool. I don't, I don't think that he has a video of an SA model, so it'd be cool for to see that on his channel. So I was like, I'll convert it back. So yeah. Um, I don't want this to be a long video. I just wanted to give you guys an update and talk about the saw a little bit and just say, hey, um, it's going to be getting worked on, which um, thank you for, you know, being able to help me out and be able uh, to work on the saw with me. I, you, you know way more than me, so I just appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Um, I'll send that. I'll send the flywheel and chainsaw in the same box, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a video. Um Thank you guys for stopping in. Hope you guys have a great day. And uh, my next video will probably, um, I guess, unless if I come up with another idea for a short or whatever, but probably my next video will just be, this will be it running. So, yeah. Um, that's really it. Just thank you guys for stopping in. Um, definitely check out his channel. He has some awesome videos. But, uh, yeah. Uh, have a great day, guys.